Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about the Brompton Toolkit. It has been improved over the years, and this is the current version. The new box is very tight, and it cannot be opened without breaking the seal. So you can be sure that your toolkit that you just bought is new and have never been used before. There is no instruction manual that comes with the toolkit. The box has many illustrations of how to use the toolkit and what's in the toolkit. The official stated weight of this toolkit is 180 grams, but our copy measured at around 197 grams, which is about 10% more than the stated figure. Take from that what you will. Inside the box, you'll be treated with several tire patch, these red dots over here. Now let's talk about the tool case. The inner core of this case is made from plastic and rubber, which means the tools which are metal will not rattle against the frame of the bike. The outer shell is made from metal though. However, this part will not be contacting the frame. And here are the items that you will get inside. And here is a closer look at the aluminium CNC piece. It is just there to protect the tool from the elements and also makes this product look more refined. Here we have laid out all the content of the toolkit, which we'll be going through in this video. First of all, there is a 15mm spanner, which is used to take off the rear view and the front view as well. Here is a closer look of the two tire lever that comes with the toolkit. They are magnetics. Previous generation of the tire lever is made from plastic. But due to the design constraint of having to have it small, it frequently breaks in the user's hand. One of the tire lever comes with two spanners built in, an 8mm one and a 10mm one. Here is an example of where it could be used. You can adjust the tension of your seat clamp with a 10mm spanner. You can attach or detach your rear mud guard with the 8mm spanner. On the opposite side of the 15mm spanner, you have a ratchet driver which you can set for anti-clockwise or clockwise. Depending on the tools you need, you can detach or attach the following heads from the ratchet driver. And here are the heads or the pieces that you get inside the toolkit. We'll be trying our best to show you the most likeliest of places that you'll be using these heads in case of a roadside emergency. For adjusting your pentaclip, you can use your 5mm Allen key, just like so. For adjusting the bike HB catch, you can use the 6mm hex key. And for adjusting your two-speed chain pusher, you can use the 2mm Allen key. For removing, tightening, or installing your mud flap, you need the 2.5mm Allen key. You can use the Phillips screw on the pedal. For older Brompton model, you need a flathead screwdriver to remove the front fender. This is how easy you can remove and install the Brompton toolkit inside your bike. Surely this will impress your non-Brompton riding friends. And it doesn't rattle at all while you are riding. And I have yet to heard stories of the rubber seal on the Brompton toolkit degrading. However, we do not recommend this toolkit for hardcore work or bike touring, as it is too small and flimsy for those applications. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped inform you more about the Brompton Toolkit. 
and see you next time. Bye.